this is the Rio Grande between Eagle Pass, Texas and Piedras Negras, Mexico. And those are the border buoys. Just part of Texas's attempt to keep illegal immigrants from crossing into the U.S. An attempt that, as we witnessed a year ago, hasn't gone as planned. This is Dr. Adriana Martinez. Hey. Born and raised in Eagle Pass, she and her team were able to access the buoys this past July, taking pictures, running a drone overhead, and getting samples of this. Rocks, dirt, and sand. All the sediment samples that I collected on the Rio Grande, they're from different locations around the buoys, and so I'm interested in looking at whether we see different sediment sizes around the buoys, because that'll tell us a little bit about how the buoys are changing water flow um, in that part of the river. Adriana is now a professor of geography at Southern Illinois University Edwardsville, which means this sediment from the border now sits 1,100 miles away. But it hasn't stopped her from sharing what she's discovered. This sediment sample is from directly underneath the buoy. So if I were to you know, stick my arm underneath the buoy and scoop out sediment, this is exactly what I found. So in between each of the buoys, you get this faster flow that's occurring. And I want to show the, you know, quantify the impact um, that they're having so that we don't do this in other locations because they're harming the river without much benefit to preventing immigration. Maybe the best way to actually see what's happening is this video of Martinez conducting a dye test, which shows how the buoys redirect the river's current. When I release the dye on the river, it shows exactly where the buoys are causing water to go and where not to go. We're getting a bar that's forming, a bar that's forming much faster that will eventually turn into an island as time goes on. Adriana is hoping to complete her full analysis soon. So here we've got just the names of the samples. And make sure both the U.S. and Mexico are aware of the effects the buoys are having on the area's ecosystem. So the science will speak for itself. That's my job as a scientist, right? To go out there, figure out what the change is, um, and then report that. In Edwardsville, Illinois, Brian Bowes, Spectrum News.